This video is sponsored by and available on Protoplay, an alternative video hosting platform focusing on creator freedom for both content creators and viewers alike. Check it out with the link in the description below, or feel free to grab the app found on Apple and Android devices. What's good, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me for our latest episode of Combat Tips. Today's tutorial is going to be focusing on the shape-shifting sorcerer known as Shang Tsung. Naturally, if there's anything specific you've come here to learn today, feel free to hop on down below to either the timeline, the description, or the comments where you can find timestamps to let you skip to anything I feature in today's video. And should any moves I mention today not entirely make sense to your particular controller, feel free to use this conversion guide right here, and that should allow you to take anything I say in today's tutorial and convert it onto any platform currently hosting Mortal Kombat 11. Popping right on over to the cosmetic screen here folks and that is of course to show you that as of this video's release date there are currently 23 out of 23 finishers for Shang Tsung which means today's video is going to be featuring 10 different brutalities. As I'm sure is no surprise we'll be starting off with the classic today but again if there's any particular brutality you folks have come here to learn today feel free to hop on down below and the timestamps should get you where you gotta go. Let's get it going. Ah, the classic. Definitely a move I will not be forgetting anytime soon. Let's get into it. For this particular brutality, you want to make sure that you do not block an attack during the final round. And to clarify, the final round is whichever round you as a player are going to be victorious on. So that can be rounds two or three, just whichever one you as a player are going to be winning on. Beyond that, you just want to finish your opponent with an uppercut, and during that uppercut, make sure to hold either Y or triangle on your respective controller. Gotta love the uppercut, folks. Down Y or down triangle, and you should get pop. Now, something I always like to mention with this particular brutality, as you can see up here, we are on round two. This is going to be my victorious round, and boom. I've just hit the block button, however, I've not forfeit the opportunity to do this brutality, and that is because I've not actually taken damage while blocking. Okay, so just keep that in mind, if you happen to be a little reflexive, like myself, and you might go boom, you hit that block button, if you can take your finger off quick enough, and not actually take damage while blocking on that final round, you're okay. That wraps this one up though folks, remember just do not block any damage on the final round, and then finish your opponent with an uppercut while holding either Y or triangle on your respective controller. Oh. There it is, folks. <laughs> Our next brutality is called Essence Thief. Now for this one, you're gonna wanna finish your opponent with a towards throw, and while that's happening, you need to mash either X and Y rapidly, or square and triangle rapidly. So of course, for a towards throw, move towards your opponent and tap L1 or left button, and as you can see, you get a towards throw. If you prefer, arcade inputs work just as well, square and X at the same time, or X and A at the same time while moving towards the opponent, and boom, you still get a towards throw. Now when it comes to mashing X and Y or square and triangle, most people will take their thumb and go boom, like this between both buttons, totally okay method if it works for you. Should you find that you struggle with it though, I also like to suggest that you take your pointer and middle finger, place them on both buttons respectfully, and boom, just mash those rapidly till you get that brutality going. Easy enough folks, simply finish your opponent with that towards throw while mashing X and Y or square and triangle. Let's go for it. Whoa. This one's super cool. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell with the skin, unfortunately, but when you use it on people who have normal flesh, specifically like human flesh and whatnot, you will notice that the essence of life just gets sucked right out of them. But I don't know. Definitely a very cool Shang Tsung brutality. I'm a fan of it. Next up is the Visceral Punt Brutality. Now for this one in particular, you will have to grab your opponent at least three times at any point throughout the match. That can be rounds one, two, or three, does not matter when, just make sure you grab them. Towards throws, back throws, both will work, just make it happen. When it comes down to finishing your opponent, however, you have to use a back throw in specific. A back throw, folks, very easy. Simply tap L1 or left button without any sort of direction, and you should always get your back throw. Oof, 
All the same with the arcade inputs, square and X or X and A, boom still get your good old back throw. Now remember folks, we do need three throws to get this brutality to work. Does not matter when they happen in the match. I'll get them all right now though, just for clarification's sake. Here's a towards throw, simple. We'll get them with one more towards throw, of course. And then last, but certainly not least, go in with the back throw. And there we go, got our criteria out of the way. That's all there is to this one, folks. Simply use three throws at any point throughout the match, then move in and finish your opponent with that back throw. <laughs> Love it. Next up, we have the Walk It Off Brutality. Now, for this one, you will require the Slide ability in your arsenal. Alternatively, you can use the Shapeshifters training, which will also add the Slide to your arsenal. But either way, just make sure you have that. Good to go. Very straightforward beyond that, folks. Simply finish your opponent with that Slide ability while holding forwards. Now, our Slide should be Back Forward B or Back Forward Circle and you get that beautiful classic reptile slide. That's it though, folks. Simply finish your opponent with that slide ability while holding forward. Ooh! Messy. This is okay. If you ask me, I think it would have been cooler if they used the enhanced slide to finish the opponent, kick him up in the air, and then maybe, I don't know, just completely destroy them with the feet. I don't know. This is cool all the same, I suppose, but I just... It could have been better. Next up is the true 50-50 brutality. This one's going to require that you have the force lift in your arsenal. Of course, alternatively, you can also use the shapeshifters training if you prefer. Either way, just have them ready to go. Another pretty straightforward brutality, folks. Simply finish your opponent with that force lift. And while that's happening, push down at least three times. Or as I always like to suggest with brutalities like this, just spam down as fast as you can. So the force lift is going to be down back X or down back square. Pop. And there it is. That's all. Just finish your opponent with that force lift. And remember, push down at least three times. Or as I've suggested, spam down. Let's go for it. Spamming down. Oh. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, I'm a big fan of just how, you know, lifting them up is already leaving them super powerless. But then just oh, the swift sheer power of tearing them in half. It's so quick. But just... I guess the style and flair involved with it is what I like, so very much approved. Next up is the Fountain of Blood. For this particular brutality, you will require the super kick. Alternatively, of course, you can use the shapeshifters training. Up to you. Just make sure you've got one of them. Good to go. Now, the criteria is going to require that you hit with at least three super kicks at any point throughout the match, rounds one, two, or three, but they do have to hit, actually connect. They cannot be blocked, so just make sure you get that done. Once that's good to go, finish your opponent with yet another super kick. Our super kick should be down back B or down back circle, and of course, we get that beautiful classic move right there. Let's of course not forget our criteria. We need three super kicks at any point throughout the match. Let's get them. There's one, there's two, and there's three. To summarize it up, folks, hit your opponent at least three times at any point throughout the match with those super kicks, and then, of course, finish them. Ooh, with yet another super kick. <laughs> Very cool detail here. I like how the head flies around to the other side and gets grabbed. Definitely has that good uh, essence of rain in it. Very much his style. Next up, we have the Spatial Override Brutalities. Now, for this one, you are going to require both the Soul Swap and the Vile Sorcery abilities. Once those are good to go, you will want to pay attention to a couple particular things. First off, you need to make sure you hit your opponent at least three times at any point throughout the match with the Soul Swap ability. After that, you do want to finish your opponent with yet another Soul Swap, but make sure that you have activated either the Vile Inscriptions or Malignant Sorcery debuffs. Now the Soul Swap is a quick down up and it should look just like that. For criteria's sake, let's go ahead and get our three soul swaps in. There's one. Here is two. And last but not least is three. Now, when it comes to debuffing your opponent in order to set them up for this brutality, you have two options. The first being vile inscriptions, and that's going to be down back L2 or down back left trigger. And it should give you this purple glow on your opponent and increase the amount of damage they take. Alternatively, you also have Malignant Sorcery, which is down forward L2 or down forward left trigger. And again, 
you will see some glowing this time red around the opponent and this reduces the damage they do to you. If you want my opinion, I recommend the Vile Inscriptions debuff simply because it increases the amount of damage the opponent takes from you and that soul swap ability right there already does a pretty minimal amount of damage. So remember folks, hit your opponent at least three times with that soul swap ability and from there you're going to want to debuff them with either Vile Inscriptions or Malignant Sorcery and last but certainly not least, go ahead and soul swap one last time and you should get Ooh -wee! <laughs> that gruesome fate right there what's twisted about this one is especially with that specific taunt he not only burst out of her from inside of her he became her right after so it's it just kind of adds to that that creepy body horror of, of someone taking over you and being you and the way that Shang Tsung does I mean he usually does it through souls but this time it looks like he just straight up hatched out of Devora, which is kind of ironic considering she's the one who usually uh, you know uses her over pot as over positors or whatever to inject people with her own babies and whatnot but I digress this is a very cool brutality. Our next brutality is called Inclement Weather. Now for this one, you will have to finish your opponent with that corpse drop ability from a great distance while holding down. If you want my opinion, a great distance in this case just has to be medium distance at a minimal. Now the corpse drop should be down forward A or down forward X. And there you go. This is one of those brutalities you can manipulate to if you decide simply pushing forward or backwards after the initial input. So we'll go ahead and do a normal corpse drop like so. This time we'll push backwards after the corpse drop input a little closer and this time we'll push forwards. And there you go. Like I said, you can manipulate some of these moves. This is definitely one of the ones you can, and it might help you get the brutality off from different positions. As I said, folks, a great distance for this particular brutality seems to work at medium distance. Two back dashes if you happen to be right up against the opponent. One, two, and there you go. This should be a proper position for the brutality to work. Once you're at your proper great distance, folks, all you got to do is finish your opponent with that corpse drop ability and make sure to hold down. <laughs> this one's super funny. I wish I wish they stood upright a little longer just so we could like admire the horror work of it all, but I don't know. This one's definitely more on the comedic side, but I love it. I love just funny comedic brutalities. You know, they they for me they either got to go either end of the spectrum, super funny or super violent. This is definitely one that's super funny if you ask me. So our next brutality is called I put a spell on you. For this one in particular, all you gotta do is finish your opponent with a back throw and mash either X and Y or square and triangle on your respective controller. Now something they don't mention with this particular brutality is that you will want to be careful with how many throws you use during the match. And that is because, as you can see here again, we use a back throw to activate this brutality. However, a visceral punt up here also uses a back throw in order to activate and beyond that requires three throws throughout the match in order to meet that criteria so should you meet the criteria for visceral punt unfortunately you'll be locked into that brutality as opposed to being able to activate i put a spell on you so just keep that in mind be careful with how many throws you use in a match if you want to go for this particular brutality the back throw folks a simple tap of the l1 or left button and there we go. Remember, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you don't want to use your thumb to mash between these two buttons, you can also use your pointer and middle finger, and boom, that works as a great alternative. That's all there is to this one, though, folks. Finish your opponent with that back throw and mash either X and Y or square and triangle. Mashing my buttons and... Oh, <laughs> very cool. Love this one. I mean, again, it's not too crazy, but it's such a good combination of his abilities with that particular scroll and just kind of both exploding them but also cutting them in half i don't know there's a lot going on here and i guess that's just why it is so visually entertaining our last brutality for today folks is called hothead for this one in particular all you got to do is finish your opponent with the fire skull while holding up now that fire skull is going to be back forward x or back forward square and you get those classic skulls. Simple enough, folks. Finish your opponent with that fire skull while holding up. And you should get... Ooh! <laughs> I like how it's just chattering, too. Another cool one where 
he just kind of replaces their bodies, which I guess, you know, thinking about it is really appropriate for him being a shapeshifter and whatnot, but I don't know. I like this one as well. It's just very comedic. Anything on that comedic scale, like I said, usually gets me good. Now here's a little bit of a bonus tip for some of you folks who may want to make use of it. As you can see here, we're going to be hopping on over to Devora and boom, taking her head off with the classic. But make note, sometimes Shang Tsung will transform into the opponent. Doesn't always happen, but when he does use that taunt, you can actually manipulate this and transform into one of the four classic ninjas. Now if you hold both back triggers and hold up, you should get rain. Holding both back triggers while holding right should get you ermac. Both back triggers while you are holding down should get you noob. And last, but certainly not least, both back triggers and left should give you smoke. So just keep that in mind, folks. Hold both back triggers and push up, right, down, or left, and you should be able to transform into one of four classic ninjas. Well, all right then, folks. I guess that wraps up yet another episode of our combat tip tutorials. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shang Tsung has been a highly requested character for a while, but as you folks know, I like to try and have the full collection before I put out these videos just so that... I only have to make one video as opposed to kind of cutting them up and making you folk have to jump around all over the place. It's just more convenient when I can do it all in one run and have everything nice and organized. But hey, let me know what you thought of some of these brutalities today. I do like how a lot of his abilities kind of correlated with either his shape-shifting abilities from other people, or I, did, I also really just liked how he would replace the bodies, either with that corpse or the flaming skull, or even just the one where he exploded out of Devora. They were all just really cool. There's, you know, there's a few in here that eh, could have been better. That sliding one with Reptile. I feel like Reptile definitely deserves something cooler than that, but that's just my opinion. A big shout out to Portal Play for sponsoring yet another video. If you guys want to help support this channel, feel free to hop on down to the description below. You should be able to find a link to my Proto Play page where all of these combat tip tutorial videos get uploaded, sometimes a day early. So if you want to check them out early or sometimes just know they'll be there in the future since it's a great way to protect them from YouTube taking things down, feel free to check out the page. I very much appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know down below, either in the form of a like or a comment. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out exactly when more tutorials like this go live. That'll of course wrap it up for today, folks, but thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I know I say it all the time, but I really mean it. It's really great to have an audience for these types of videos. It's fun to be able to play a game I like, teach it and kind of just benefit from a cool community like you folks so again thank you so much for spending time with me enjoying the videos leaving your comments leaving your likes leaving your feedback it all means a lot and really does help the channel evolve grow and i hope get better so until next time folks thank you so much keep an eye out on the polls we will be putting one out just so you guys can pick the next combat tip tutorial video and again thank you so much for watching Till next time folks remember stay safe Stay happy. Adios, everybody.